just I need to mention that I'm not a postdoctoral student, not yet. I'm in ah, trans. Sorry. No, no problem. I'm in transitional zone after PhD and before that. So now uh, I moved uh, from northern part of Europe in Portugal, and um, I am part of volunteer researcher at Sociedade de Historia Natural, or ACGEN. And I try to get no more better um, Portuguese uh, geology and paleontology. And my topic would be about uh, one of my adventure here. Uh, this is why the name is preliminary uh, results on that. And um, so basically, first, I need to mention. Um, wait, just two seconds. OK, I see. So first, I would like to shortly uh, talk about uh, Lusitanian Basin, which is uh, part of the central, uh, uh, the central part of Western Portugal, and uh, you can see it on the picture. And it was formed during opening of the North Atlantic Ocean in early Mesozoic. The sedimentary profile in this basin reached approximately six uh, kilometers. Um, thickness and mainly consists of upper Triassic to lower Cretaceous uh, deposits. The basin experienced several riftings, um, uh, rifting series, and during one of which uh, an inner division happened. And as a result, the Zutanian basin was divided into four sub-basins. The main paleontological data about vertebrates is coming from upper Jurassic layers accumulated in the Tertifal and southern part of Bambaria subbasins. Uh, so here from the left, you can see a geological map where is green color shows Cretaceous deposits and different bluish color represent different formations of upper Jurassic sediments. The study object name is Fosbizandro, uh, which is marked in the red, uh, in the red rectangular. And uh, geographically, it's placed between Praia Azul and Asenta, uh, two more popular locations comparing with the name of study object. Uh, geologically, this object is part of the Third Sifosa Basin and consists of Upper Jurassic uh, sediments. Um, sorry, too early. Uh, in the right part of the slide, you can see a print screen from Google Maps, which is showing Fort Bizizandro from a closer perspective. And it is pretty easily accessible location with a big parking place, what is make it a field trip more easy. And basically you need a standard field trip equipment, best helmet, hammer, and so on. And also maybe I need to mention about that cliffs are public lands and here under the management of the Portuguese Environment Agency and all activities of exploration of resources are forbidden with an exception for those who are under agreement, for example, like a general organization about which I mentioned earlier and where I'm uh, a volunteer researcher right now. And before a field trip, it's uh, preferable to check a website about high and low tides because water can uh, actually cut your way to get to the studied object, at least in that part of the Portugal. And, and on the 16th uh, of uh, February, my colleagues and me, we went uh, especially in the studied area again to check uh, one more time uh, uh, rocks. Uh, because cliff are not stable geological feature and time to time it can show up something new. And before this day, we checked the uh, high low tides and we decided to arrive uh, around 11 a.m. And you can see by different colors of sand, uh, uh, three green arrows showing that, uh, that water was recently here. And also according to the calendar season, the black arrows showing the path which can easily use in the summer, but uh, not in the winter. Here you can see a studied object um, uh, and fallen blocks from the top or almost top of the cliff, which have fossils. Mythologically, these blocks are mainly gray with a slightly yellowish color, and most probably it's a matstone or marlish uh, matstone. Uh, to be completely sure, some additional analysis should be done. 
However, uh, stratigraphically, the studied layer is part of a sobral formation, uh, which is showing the blue arrow from the right part of the slide, uh, which belongs to the lower Tetunian stage. Uh, during uh, the one of the field trips, uh, my colleagues and me and I found many isolated parts of turtle shells. And according to the number of new finds, it would be the most dense fossil group here. Less dense, but still common on finds, it's pycnodont fish teeth. Single units of crocodile morph tooth and typical pteropod tooth were found as well here. Uh, except vertebrates, also some groups of invertebrates as gastropods and brachiopods were found as well. All this new material together with already some published material from the same formation, but in nearby areas, are stored in ACJ organization. Um, and mainly uh, it, is, uh, it would be two clear results for me. One of which is that uh, six different groups were found here. It's turtle, fish, crocodile, morphs, dinosaurs, brachiopods, and gastropods. And second result is that uh, uh, these finds represent uh, several uh, uh, ecological uh, niches, like uh, marine, freshwater, and terrestrial, uh, represented by uh, these habitats. And uh, as a scientist, I have a question in my mind, like uh, why so many different groups accumulated together in one place? And uh, the best explanation could be found uh, in an allergic situation, but personally, I have never seen such combination of groups together before, uh, with a recent uh, exception. Um, in November last year, I participated in the sixth uh, International Paleontological Congress in the probably biggest uh, paleontological event. Uh, uh, during the scientific program, it was an option to join a mid-conference field trip, and one of the stops was the College of Park, where is an important fossil site is. And here you can find a conglomeratic reddish uh, sandstone with the various groups uh, of fossils together, uh, like dinosaurs, fishes, turtles, crocodiles, mollusks, and other early but Cretaceous fauna. And um, the sedimentology of uh, Kokurat locality shows that vertebrate fossils were deposited in the fluvial system including uh, floodplains and channels of meandering uh, rivers. The conglomerates indicate uh, that the fossils were transported with medium to high energy and deposited in the channels. While carbonates uh, clusters are commonly found and well cemented by calcite. These sheds of the evidence suggest a semi-arid environment. Also, I started to dig uh, better and I checked some literature where I can find the same uh, interesting combinations of uh, groups uh, placed in one uh, area. And uh, I found um, uh, some more studies, but also more about Cretaceous fauna embedded in fluvial sands of alluvial plain in case of Hungary or in case of finds from even southern Portugal. Uh, and authors came to conclusion about transgressive regressive cycles uh, in a shallow marine to a transitional and continental environment. Something similar happened and during late Jurassic. So talking about studied area, sobral formation is interpret interpreted like um, as a result of sedimentation in an austerine delta complex. And Praia Azul member, which is part of uh, my uh, my studied area, is part of that member, was deposited by a meandering fluvial system, flowing in a low laying coastal plain, connected with transitional system like delta, sandy bay shorelines, and brackish water. Um, that would be all. Thank you very much for attention. Thank you very much for organizing. For organization this event. If you have any questions, uh, you can easily find me on ResearchGate or Twitter. Thank you very much.